Guys, check this out. Isn't this beautiful? We have reached 1,000 subscribers. That could fill up like a small club, man. 1,000 subscribers is pretty awesome, guys. I'm working on a 1,000 sub special. It will take a little while, but I think the outcome will be great. I just wanna thank you all for your great support. This really means a lot to me. I never thought that this would happen so quickly. It took me less than a year to get 1,000 subscribers. And according to some data that I found on Google, it normally takes takes an average of 22 months to reach that amount of subscribers. So I'm really happy that this happened so fast. You have no idea how much time I put into this. At the moment, I committed myself to put at least one good video out a week. I'm hoping to produce two good videos a week in the near future since you guys like it so much. But creating these videos is very time consuming, especially for a channel like mine where everything is based around filmmaking. For me, it takes at least two to three days to make a video. Now, in today's topic, I don't only want to thank you, I also want to talk about how I reached those 1,000 subscribers so that you can apply those strategies for yourself to quickly grow your first 1,000 subs. So let's get into it. So most channels struggle to reach that 1,000 milestone. It's important that you get there to be successful. So did you know that channels under 1,000 subs that contribute 90% of the content on YouTube YouTube only get less than 10% of the total views. Most of the views go to channels with more than 1000 subscribers. I guess that's just how it works. To begin with, I started focusing on YouTube in June 2019. I started with the channel back in 2011, but I never really did anything with it. Then I committed to build my channel. Hello everyone, my name is Bennett and I'm a filmmaker from Zurich, Switzerland. Starting from today, I'm planning on building my own YouTube channel. I told myself I wanted to create my own TV show. Bennett Grazer, coming up. So I really thought deeply on why I wanted to do online videos and the reason was improving my filmmaking skills. That was actually the biggest reason why I started um, that YouTube channel. It's important that you ask yourself the question, why? Why? Why do you want to create a YouTube channel in the first place? If you have the answer, I recommend writing it down so that you can remind yourself what's most important and make sure to be clear in your answer. I work almost every day on my videos. So in order for me to keep that motivation on going, I ask myself, why I do it. Next is to be consistent. Most likely you will start off with a low production value and few resources, and that's fine. Don't stress yourself out. Take out your phone if that's the only camera you have and start creating content. YouTube prefers two to three videos a week. Now it all depends on how busy your life is. If you look at my life, besides building my YouTube channel, doing video projects for clients, working 30% as a nurse and having a girlfriend to manage, that's a full-time job. I manage to upload one good video a week. I prefer this method because first of all, I don't wanna get a burnout. Second, I want to keep the quality of my videos consistent. I find quality more important than quantity. The content has to have a value for the viewers. Otherwise, there is no really reason to watch it. So important for you to know is find a balance between uploading often and keeping your quality consistent. Next is to optimize your video so that it will rank higher in search results. This way, your videos will more likely get seen by other viewers. You need to find out what your channel is about and what people are looking for. A good way is to use the YouTube search bar. If you type in something, you will notice that a list of predictions will appear beneath it. Now, these are the predictions that people search for around the world. I always try to create a narrowly focused video because that will give me far better results than covering everything in one video. So first research your idea and see if people are interested in that topic. Next, you want to make sure you get your title, description and tags right. This is really important. You want to create titles based on the predicted topics that pop up in the YouTube search bar. For example, when I type in how to fart, YouTube provides numerous predictions on how to fart longer and louder or how to fart without sound. There are many different 
farting <laughs> topics. Sorry, that was stupid, I know, but, but you get it. You want to pick a narrow focused topic. Use that exact phrase in your title and also include those keywords in your video description so that you will be more likely discovered. Also add tags to the topic so that it's easier for the viewers to find you. Next is to make your video stand out. The cool thing about YouTube is that you can create videos that you like to talk about. Now, I don't reinvent the wheel, I reinvent myself. I do look at other related channels to get inspired and improve upon their content. I always look for ways to create uh, something more original that makes my videos stand out more. This way, I'm also hoping to motivate and inspire other people like you. You could also look at it this way. Like in breakdance, I like to check out the dancers' moves. The ones I like, I copy. It's called biting. Ever heard of it? And there is nothing wrong with that. Important is, is that you add your own style to it to give it some uniqueness. Maybe do different combinations or so. For me, both is very important, the content value and production value. However, if your content isn't interesting, not even the best camera in the world will make people watch your video. What I like to do a lot is involve the audience by asking them to give me a feedback on the video in the comments. This way I can learn from the viewers and see what I could do better the next time. Now for my last advice guys is do collaborations. I think this is one of the best ways to quickly grow your channel. And there are a lot of benefits to it, especially when you're starting out. First, you get to be presented in front of a new audience. Second, sometimes these collaboration videos require less work because you both are working on one video and might even have better results. And third, you can learn so much. I usually like to collab with people that I can learn from, that have certain skills that I don't have. Additionally, this is a great way to expand your network and make new friends. Now, I had a lot of people asking me to do a collab with them. Bro, I don't do collabs with everyone. If you want to do one with me, you have to have a certain level of alignment with my niche. So bro, if you have a farting channel, this probably won't work. Now, I don't really care how many followers the creator has as long as the production quality is good and have good content to present. What I recommend is to reach out for other creators, even if you're just starting out. If you find someone with a large audience, offer them to edit their video or in any other way that could save them time. You could also suggest them a new idea for a video because getting new creative ideas can be very challenging, especially for those that have been doing YouTube for a very long time. Now doing collaborations has definitely pushed my channel forward. One of my favorite collabs I did was with Tony Levick Larson. I reached out to him because I thought he would fit well for the next topic, which was how to shoot a product video at home. That got over 14,000 views and was well received by the audience. We are actually planning our next video soon. As you can see, you never know what doors might open when doing these collaborations. So don't hesitate to reach out. It's better to ask than not to. That was it for today's video, guys. I hope this content was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments what your strategies are on building your audience on YouTube. I'm so happy to have reached 1,000 subscribers. This pushes me to even create more and I can't wait to see where this adventure will lead me to. Thanks again for the 1,000 subscribers. I won't let you down. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel. See you soon. Ah, that didn't work out. Thank you.